Hi, this is Jason Cano. It is important to know and to learn from church history as there will always be old heresies cropping up, appearing as new teachings. So we must always be on guard against such things. So why we should learn about the history of Pentecostalism and its theology? In this short video, I will give three reasons or distinctions to other views or theology. First one is theological distinctive. So in many people's mind, the key distinctive of Pentecostal theology is baptism in the Holy Spirit as a second blessing after salvation. So this distinctive depends on two doctrines, separability and subsequence. Separability maintains the regeneration and baptism in the Spirit are two distinct mighty acts of God. So the regeneration is the Spirit's work to remove the unbeliever's old nature and to implant a new nature, resulting in a new birth. So baptism in the Spirit is His falling upon believers to empower and equip them for service. The second one is the experiential distinctive. Though it is certainly hard to regeneralize the experiences of Pentecostal adherents that is distinguish them for other Christians. So in many people's mind, the following are typical of Pentecostal experience. The first distinctive develops from the first theologian distinctive, a two-stage experience of the Holy Spirit. Pentecostal adherents first experience regeneration by the Spirit, then the experience baptism in the Spirit. But some Pentecostal groups hold a three-stage experience, regeneration, sanctification, and baptism in the Spirit as empowered for service. Accordingly, Pentecostal believers have experienced a second blessing that non-Pentecostal believers have not. And lastly, the missional distinctive. Again, while it is difficult to generalize about the missional distinctive of Pentecostal adherents and churches, many people recognize the following emphasis. The first distinctive is an urgent missionality. Having been baptized with the Holy Spirit, Pentecostals and their churches take the Great Commission seriously and are propelled and empowered for evangelism, church planting, and reaching the unreached. Given this distinctive, it is no surprise that where new missional frontliners are found, much of the work and growth is due to Pentecostal efforts. I hope you have learned from this short conversation. Thank you.